Okay, so for step seven, I want to talk to you guys about how to line up your photos with audio. So this is a little bit of a vague topic, so I'm going to do my best to describe. So what I exactly mean is that your photos should complement the audio. So remember how I talked to you guys about when recording photos and recording audio, we want it to sort of complement and highlight the scholarship program? Well, you want it to sort of match at the same time with the video. So if you are going over a sentence about community in the timeline, you want a photo about community to pop up. So how um, when you import stuff into the timeline, it'll randomly place photos. You want to rearrange it to where it makes sense. So over here, I'm going to show you a bad example. So let's say as you go through the timeline and you're playing back your video, um, you hear the sentence, we offer a fun fitness program. It's kind of weird because this doesn't look like a fitness program. This looks like someone doing art, you know, so it doesn't sound right. So if you're talking about a fitness program, probably over here, you should have someone doing something fitness related. And so we'll go to another sort of poor example. So if you're talking about how your scholarship program has a very close knit community, this doesn't look very community like. It looks like this person is by themselves and they're not doing anything community like. It looks like they're on the computer doing some virtual reality things. So we'll go ahead and show some good examples as well so you can sort of get a better idea. So if you have, for example, a film program or like a project group of some sorts, so students can participate in a weekly film program, this picture is acceptable because look, there's a camera, there looks like there's students, and it makes sense. So as you are going through your timeline, you hear students can participate in a weekly film program, and you see this picture, they complement each other. And over here, I just have one more good picture. So like I said with the community, if you have a sentence such as there is a place and a home for everybody, this picture really nails it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six people. They look like they're being very friendly. They look like they're happy. And I feel like this is a picture that complements what's going on. So like I said with Premiere Rush um, in that previous video, when you're going around your timeline, you can press the play button and you can listen to what is being said at the exact time code. And just when that sentence is being said, make sure you have a sort of picture that complements the sentence. So just a little wrap up. Um, you want to listen to the audio while you're editing and you want to place the photos on the timeline where it makes sense. So if you're talking about community, show a picture of community. And you know, just like I said right here, they should complement each other. It shouldn't be to where the viewer will look confused like, wait, hold on, you just talked about X and the picture doesn't match with that. It talks about Y. So you just want um, photos and audio to match with each other. That is extremely very important.